Hey loves, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a three-part DIY. I am adding more greenery to my home, therefore I'm doing a little bit more um, home decor DIYs. So the first one, you're going to need a tall um, planter's pot. I got this for only 50 cents at Hobby Lobby. I got this some time ago, but I had no idea what to do with it. So today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into something fabulous. What you'll be needing is some white spray paint by Krylon. I got this at Michael's, it cost me um, under $4. You'll also be needing some greenery. I got this from Michael's and it was only $4. They do have 50% off on all of their florals and the greenery I love these these are bushes and I love the holes in them they look very exotic so I'll be adding this to my plant today you'll also be needing decorative stones I got these from Dollar Tree and your last item for the first DIY is some floral foam this is the tall square one first I'm gonna take this on the porch and give it a nice coat of the white spray paint and come back and show you the rest of the tutorial so after you spray paint it your pot it's going to take some time to get dry mine's is still a little wet but i'm going to go ahead and take my floral foam and add it inside of my pot next i'm going to take my greenery and place it inside of the foam okay like so. I'm gonna add some of my multicolor stones and then add the flat black ones on top. For the second DIY, you'll also be needing two flower plants. It's up to you. I'm gonna be using these and I'm gonna redo them inside these small pots, which I got from Dollar Tree and again some black pebbles. I'm also going to use my white spray paint and spray paint these two white as well. Yeah, well I'm going to take some E6000 and some floral foam and I'm going to adhere it down to the bottom of my pots. I'm going to take some pebbles and place it inside of each pot. So I have already went ahead and removed my lily, so I'm just going to take the bottom section and place it inside. Do the same for the other floral. And here's what it looks like afterwards. Very cute. For the third DIY, you're going to be needing a candle holder, which I got from Michaels. Some multicolor stones and some black stones, which also came from Dollar Tree. And lastly, three succulents. I got these from Michaels. They were 50% off, so they were $1.50 each. You're just simply going to add your rocks into your candle holder. You can most definitely leave it like this. Pop off your succulents and add them in like so. Okay. You don't have to use the black stones, it's definitely preferable. Here are the finished products. They turned out absolutely beautiful. Again, you can find these leaves at Michael's. The pot I got from Hobby Lobby for 50 cents. The stones are gonna come from Dollar Tree. The succulents are gonna be from Michael's and also the um, candle holder there. And these little small pots you can find at the Dollar Tree as well as these plants. I love these, they turned out beautiful. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to check the description box for a list of everything that I use. I hope you enjoyed this and until next time, I'll see you all really soon and don't forget to subscribe. God bless and have a great day. Bye.
I'm going to take my E6000 glue and adhere them down. This part makes it a lot easier when the paint is a little wet, so I can already see the indentation and where my glue should go. 